give you as a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with all of heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we hunger and repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. The glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, and strengthen you in all goodness by the power of the Holy Spirit. Keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord has shown forth his glory. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is the great God and the great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth. The eyes of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand has molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Psalm 31 is found on page 622. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. And yes, to deliver me. Be my strong rock and castle to be safe. For you are my crack and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me to die of me. Take me out of the net that I have still to set for me. For you are my tower of strength. And with your hands I command my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, of God of truth. I hate those who cling to worthless idols, and I put my trust in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad because of your mercy. For you have seen my affliction. In all my distress, you have not shut me up in the power of the enemy. You have set my feet in an open place. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eyes consume with sorrow, and my soul not corrupt in my belly. For my life is wasted with grief, and my years with sign. My strength fails me because of afflictions, and my bones are consumed. I have become a reproach to all my enemies, even to my neighbors. It is made to those of my upland priests, and they see me in the street, they avoid me. Having forgotten like a dead man, out of mind, and as useless to love my heart. I have reversed whispering and cried out, tears were all around. They put their heads together against me, they were locked to take my life. As for me, I trusted in you, O Lord. I said, You are my God. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face shine upon your servant and your loving kindness save me. Lord, let me not be ashamed for having called upon you. Rather, let the wicked be put to shame. Let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be silenced to speak against the righteous. How I read the same glory in which I look at him. I praise your goodness, O Lord, that you have laid up for those who fear you, which is what you have done since I saw all, for those who put their trust in you. And my eyes are not covered in their presence from those who slander them, and you keep them in the shelter from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord. For he has shown me the wonders of his love and the 
Isaiah, the 45th chapter. For thus says the Lord, who created the heavens, he is God, who formed the earth and made it. He established it, he did not create it a chaos. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord and there is no other. I did not speak in secret in a land of darkness. I did not say to the offspring of Jacob, seek me in chaos. I, the Lord, speak the truth. I declare what is right. Assemble yourselves and come together. Draw near, you survivors of the nations. They have no knowledge, those who carry about their wooden idols and keep on praying to a God that cannot say. Declare and present your case. Let them take counsel together. Who told this long ago? Who declared it of all? Was it, was it not I, the Lord? There is no other God besides me, a righteous God and a Savior. There is no one besides me. Turn to me and be saved, all the ends of the earth, for I am God and there is no other. By myself I have sworn, from my mouth has gone forth in righteousness a word that shall not return. To me, Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. Only in the Lord it shall be said of me, our righteousness and strength. All who were in incense against him shall come to him and be ashamed. In the Lord all the offspring of Israel shall triumph and glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Article 10. Seek the Lord while the wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and he who wants their thoughts. Let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion. To our God, for he will reach in pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For if the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens, and return out again by water of the earth, bringing forth life and giving world, seed for sowing and bread for eating. So is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purpose, and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark, the fourth chapter. On that day, when evening had come, Jesus had said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him with them in a boat, just as he was. Other boats were with him. A great windstorm arose and the waves beat into the boat, so that the boat was already being swamped. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion, and they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace. Be still. Then the wind ceased, and there was a dead calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have, have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe, and said to one another, Who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? The word of the Lord. Amen. 
Splendor, and honor, and king with power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have been being, and yours by right, O Lamb of the Son, whom in your blood you have redeemed, O God, from every family, language, people, and nation, the kingdom of priests to serve our God, and serve to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb. Be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered and Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into death. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the whole Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern upon them without cause. Day by day we bless you. Praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Mercy, mercy, Lord, mercy. Lord, mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall have our hope in the night. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and not entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, whose Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, is the light of the world, grant that we your people illumined by your word and sacraments may shine with the radiance of Christ's glory that he may be known, worshipped, and obeyed to the ends of the earth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, you called Fabian to be a faithful pastor and servant of your people and to lay down his life in witness to your son. Grant that we, strengthened by his example and aided by his prayers, may in times of trials and persecution remain steadfast in faith and endurance for the sake of him who laid down his life for us all, Jesus Christ our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. They will lift up the Diocese of Pakong in South Sudan and in our Diocese and Prayer Cycle, we pray for St. Luke's in Jackson and Gideon's International. In our daily prayers, we pray for one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. We pray for the Episcopal Church, presiding Bishop Marco Carey, the Diocese of West Tennessee, Bishop Phoebe, Canon Sharon. We also pray for all the meetings that are need to happen. I pray, O oh Lord, that uh, you would bless them. We also pray for our own parish, St. Andrews. We pray that you would continue to bless us. Uh, we 
pray that you would move exactly into where you have called us to be. We pray for all congregation members. We pray, O oh Lord, that you would bless us. You would allow us to learn more and more about repentance and conversion each moment of our lives. We pray specifically for those who are sick amongst us and not feeling well. I pray that for healing of body, spirit, and mind. I pray, O oh Lord, that you continue to touch us in a special way. May we all continue to seek you, your face. You may add in the sessions of Thanksgiving at this time. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, you unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and all you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love, the redemption of the world of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray give us such an awareness of your mercies that we truly attend the hearts to show forth your praise, not only in our lives, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, by walking before you for holiness and righteousness of all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us forevermore. Amen.